Good morning, everyone. So here we are again. Um, we gonna finish this wreath today. Uh, well, not today. I don't know. I don't know if I have time, but I'm going to teach you something today. Now, what I did was I put another round in my wreath. Okay. So the same petal and I used uh, bar three and four. Okay. And I haven't put my mesh in. Now, this is actually the second one because um, I'm creating a new petal and I really wanted to experiment with it first before I showed you guys because it's a little difficult. Like it's, um, you really have to be careful with it. So um, I finished the wreath. And so now I'm gonna, like I started another one because I remember I told you my girlfriend, she, uh, she, she bought that that uh, that wreath from me and I have to replace it. So I'm thinking, you know, making her a nice one, nicer one. I'm still waiting for my order from wreath from um, from Lori and Unique in the Creek. It's on the way, so I should get it probably by tomorrow, I'm hoping. I got people who are wanting sunflowers and I can't give them to them because I don't have any mesh. Oh, I tell you, I swear, this has been a rough week, but I'll tell you what, I I don't care how rough it was. I am so excited today. There's something that's going to happen in my life. And like, you guys are going to freak out when you see it. So I got to leave it at that. And that's it. <laughs> so that's that. Uh, I love people keeping people hanging a little bit. You know, it just makes you come back. <laughs> so anyway, this is where I'm at. Um, we're going to, I, I, I still have a mesh to put in here. But I'm not working on this right now, okay? What I want to do is I want to show you guys the next petal I'm going to put on this. So I still have a mesh to put in, okay? And um, and then we'll go from there, okay? So that, I guess like I think we're going to end up in the next video because this this here it takes time, okay? So when I made that wreath last night. I was like, well, okay, this is really time consuming. Um, it took me all day to make it. Um, it's a 10 inch frame. Um, what was it? Uh, 12 pebbles on each section. I mean, on each round, so that's 24. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven in the middle, pink, and then one, two, three, four. Ah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine on the side, gray. Anyway, I'm gonna show you guys this. You guys are gonna freak out when you see it. So, here we go. This is what I came up with. Look at that. Check that out. This is the petal that I'm going to show you how to make. It is a phenomenal petal. Oh my God. When I saw this procedure, I was like so just hyped up. So this is the wreath. And all I did was I took a flower and I just took the top off and put it in there. I didn't even make the middle for it because it just so striking on its own. So I thought that, you know, that fuchsia really popped it out. Anyway, that's what this is going to be about. And you guys are going to learn how to make that petal. So at the end of the day, this is the petal you're going to learn how to make. Okay. But I, I made a little twist on my petal. You know how I'm like just totally freaked out about fraying? I, I just... It drives me crazy. It just drives me crazy. And when you're making something beautiful like this, the last thing you want is like all these little strands coming out. And um, so I figured out a way to fix that. Okay. So we're going to do that. Um, hey, here's a real good tip. I was look, watching Noble Touch. See, I watch videos too, so I can pass that on to you guys. And um, I was watching Noble Touch. She really had a good idea. She, um, she took a wreath frame, okay? You know when we finish our wreath frames, you know? Uh, I mean our wreaths. 
and we got the back to put on. Well, what she did was she took a piece of foam and she put it in the back here. And I thought, wow, that's a really good idea because, you know, you won't scratch a door and all of that. And you won't see all the work and everything because I just put a piece of felt. But I probably would put a piece of felt on top of that foam. But it's an added protection, which I think is cool. And especially, you know, if you're going to put it outside, uh, apparently it's really protected outside with the foam. It's not going to get wet and soggy or anything like that. And, um, uh, and I felt, I guess, you know, I don't know how long that, you know, stays wet for, but at least it's protecting it from, you know, anything metal inside. So ugh, the only thing that may go wrong for you is um, the birds. <laughs> I'm hearing a lot of birds that are nesting in our wreaths. <laughs> I think that's pretty cute. <laughs> I, I don't mind hummingbirds. They can go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> so, yeah, what a great idea. So, if you can look at Noble Touch, she's got a video out there. And what she actually puts, when she finishes it, she puts a nice big piece of foam. And she gets uh, she gets it, like, anywhere. And it's just a, a poster board, a foam poster board. Right? What a great tip. So I want to pass that on to you guys. So that's that. I'm going to put that away. Another thing. I found this beautiful envelope from Amazon. You know, one of those, you know, guess what I'm putting in here. You know when you are you do that, you got your mesh and you put it in the middle. And then you got these pieces and they're all like sticking out all over the place. Well, here's what I do. Here's what Here's one here. Okay, this is a fairly big one. Okay, so I square them off, right? I square them off because these end pieces are just going to get caught up anyway. I keep these little pieces because this could be something for a middle, okay? But the thing is, is that, you know, when you put this away, it's a cat, it's always getting caught on something. You go, I found this envelope and I went, hey, <laughs> there you go. You know, all my little pieces are in there. I need one. There it is. I'm not searching. Ah, I hate searching. I don't know about you guys, but I know I hate searching. So we're going to move on to this pile. So you know what we're doing? The old fashioned iron. Yeah, that's how we're going to make this amazing procedure. Um, and I have to, I have to thank Lori at, um, at Unique in the Creek. This is their pedal. I don't know if it's their pedal, but this is where I got it from. And I just thought it was so beautiful. It, it's just, oh, striking. Well, you saw the reason. So here we are. All right, so on my iron, another thing I want to show you, you know, I'm always like, you know, getting my stuff over here, like my iron and my, my glue gun. And here's what I took, you know, but you hear this metal thing? This is a lid to, you know, those cookies you get at Christmas time. Okay. That's what it is. I just, um, so that I don't burn my, this, cause I got this on a little piece of a little table and it's wood. So my wood burner goes on there. My, my, um, sorry. Um, my wood burner, my iron, anything hot, my, um, my glue gun, all that. That's where that's going. I got these little stands here, you know, for my wood burner. So that, you know, I make sure that that's always sitting on that. Um, please be safe, folks, because, you know, turn your stuff off at, when you leave your station because, man, you don't want to catch on fire. You know, I'd hate for you guys to catch on fire. It's the worst. Okay, so that's, we're going to use the iron on that. And... One really important thing here, and I learned the hard way on this. Don't use wax paper. Be careful that you're completely covered with um, the parchment paper. We use the parchment paper, okay? Um, because I did one earlier last night, and I went, Oh, this is wax paper. I just about lost my my myself because I'm going, oh no, what do I do? No, I wasted. I wasted that petal because now it's full. I can't find it. Um, I must have pitched it because it really <laughs> angered me. So 
Um, yeah, it uh, all the wax, the paper just stuck all together. Ugh. And you know what? The first thing she says, Lori, she says, don't use wax paper. And what does what does Judy do? She uses wax paper and finds out the hard way. So parchment paper is what you want to use here. First style parchment, okay? So I get my piece and um, I make my petal, okay? So I have a 10 inch piece here, okay? So I make my petal as per usual. Um, I No, I don't make this petal yet, okay? But what? here's how I'm going to fuse that. We're gonna make this little vein down the middle here, okay? You see? You see how it's been fused? Okay, so what I'm doing, okay, I'm fusing down the middle. And because, remember I was saying that this mesh was really thin and it's fraying? Well, same thing. Um, I'm actually using the, the iron to fuse it down so that it doesn't fray on each side. So I'm actually, it is a little bit darker pink on each side, one on the back, but at least it's not gonna come apart, right? So that's my main focus here on that. So, um, yeah, I'm, you know, so when I get to the back, um, you know how you got the one edge, you know, and then your mesh is on the top. On this, in this case, that's why I've got this dark because the mesh was on the top. So I fused it, okay? So I fused it right here so that um, it won't fray. And then on the other side, inside the petal, the other side is there. So I use that side to, for, to, to melt it down. But look, see, I didn't do it here. And you can see that it's coming apart. So I could go down there, but this is gonna be inside the wreath. The only thing I'm gonna see is about this. So I'm not worried about that part, okay? So it's just an added thing that I, I didn't go through the whole video. I don't know if she's doing this, but I thought it would be a good idea so that, you know, we're not um, freaking out. <laughs> I don't like freak out, okay. All right, so I burnt all my petals this morning. Everything's good, we're ready to go. I need two clothespins and here's how we start. So we have our edges up at the top again and we're gonna make a triangle, okay? So, Try and make this as perfect as possible so that your edges and everything are all meeting together. Okay, so like we're making my sunflower petal here. Okay, so now I'm going to fold it. I'm going to meet real, really, really well here. I want everything very, very nice and crisp here. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do here. I take one of my clothespins. Can you guys see that? Okay. No, it's not ready yet. See, this is very time consuming, folks. I swear. It's um is very ugh. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah, but it's so worth it. I mean to me it's so worth it. The results are amazing. So I stick a, a one up here and then I take another one and I just, I want everything to stay together at the bottom of my, my, uh, my, my petal here. So, so that this, cause this is going to end up being my tip. Okay. So I want that together. So now, now when I first started this, I just stuck it in the parts and paper. I took my iron and started rubbing it on there. So what I found was that I ended up like some of them, I had this massive edge on it. I'm going, oh, that's a little too much. Um, so I just added another step for myself so that I didn't, um, because I knew it this, with this pedal, I, I don't know, like I just, I, you know, we all find little tricks to, to help ourselves to get it done. So what we do is we get that in there, okay? So I have it in all my edge, the folded edge, okay? So I stick it in my parchment paper, make sure that my tip is there, 
And then I've got a fold here, and I fold. I put that on the fold, and I make sure that my tip stays there. Okay. Now, she just does it with the iron, but I found that I was making too much of a, a big gap on my thing, so I'm using my ruler. So I'm doing my ruler boat there. I'm gonna move my pin here a little bit. Ah, I'm good. All right. So if you see, I've got mm, in there because it's coming on an angle too. You know, um, be careful. Just do it a little bit at a time. Start to so iron and away I go. Just go slow, and but not too slow. You don't want to burn it. When you start seeing that it's dark pink here, like you start seeing your color, and your mesh is starting to actually melt, okay? So you don't want to, you know, melt it down to the point where, you know, you're creating something new. So now I'm going to go up to the top. Now I know that, you know, this thing's been fused a little bit. And um, here, you can see it now. Okay, so now I'm getting this darker color. All right, this is very hot, be very careful. I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna do the other side. I find, I'm finding that if I do that, then um, I'm not over burning. I'm not over melting this petal. Okay, so again, I'm just using the side of my airing, getting that down there. And when I see the pink come through, that's when it's like, okay, enough. Back off. Okay. So from here, I can just, now I see my line and I can just uh, make sure that I got good fuse. All right. This could use a little more. Like I said, and I use the side of my iron here. I'm using that because I really want that nice, nice, nice edge. Okay. That looks good. All right. So. Just be careful. Don't overdo it. Just up and down, up and down with your iron. Look at it. Leave it. Look at it. And then, you know. Okay, so here's where we're at with it. Now, it's all melted in there. I'm not touching it right now. Because if I touch it, if you, you know, you're going to get strands. So I'm just going to let it cool off. Just a wee bit. And eventually, she's going to fall out of this. Okay. I have one right here. <laughs> I feel like a show. <laughs> so I have one right here already. And this is what I've created. Okay. This is what I've created. Like a little bat wing. Isn't that cool? I love this. It's so neat. <laughs> so from here, I'm going to fold it. Okay. So we open up our petal. Now you can do this either way. You can use it this way, right? And then fold it in, or you could use it this way, but I kind of like this way. So we're gonna use this, this side here. So I lay the flat, I lay the petal flat, okay? Um, and then I go, okay, so I figure out we've got, I try and make it even with the top here, and away I go one, two, three, and I tuck that little edge here at the bottom underneath it. And then same thing on this side. One, two, three. And then I tuck it in. And then I take this guy. I use a four inch on this one. <laughs> hey, I made a really nice friend. What's her name? Rosaline? Rose? I'm going to call her Rose. She's from MA, Massachusetts. 
We talked for about 45 minutes on the phone. It was great. What a nice lady. Oh my God. I really, um, I love people. I just do. So there we go. There's my pedal. But because like, you know, it is so fragile with the frame, I'm going to come back and I'm going to pick this up right here. I'm going to, I'm going to, um, I'm going to iron that a little bit. So my mesh is on this side. You know, you have that edge there. It's here. So I'm not going to, you know, touch the iron with that. I just want these two pieces to get glued together. So I'm just going to take this down. I take my parchment paper again. So watch this. Since this has had time to cool, right? So now I just pull it. Look, there you go. We have wow, a fused petal. It's easy, but it's be careful, okay? It's hot. Be careful the plastic when it's hot. You'll burn yourself. It really, truly burn yourself. So, you know, sometimes, you know, you get this little, look how rough it is a little bit. I just cut that off. Make it nice and even. You know? Because your plastic is moving when you're, um, and then at the end, I just kind of give it a little flip. <laughs> so that, you know, you want your pedal to look real. As real as possible. I've had some people say, your wreaths look like they're real. Well, now they look even more real. This one. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful that is. Okay, so see how much I've taken? It's maybe, maybe a quarter of an inch I've, that I've used this. And I'm sure that, you know what, if we were to like grab it from here, right? And bring it out this way, we can make more of these little lines. And I think that would look like really cool, right? That's another session, I think. I have to try that before, I, you know, ideas are running in my head like crazy. Like I said, I'm so freaking excited today. I can't believe what's gonna happen in my life. It's unbelievable. But I'm not telling anybody. <laughs> So here we go. I'm gonna fuse this. So there's my uh, there's my mesh on that side. I'm just gonna open up my pedal and I put it in that crease, okay? And I bring this parchment paper down. And I'm just gonna I you can see it right through the parchment paper, okay? So I'm just gonna go on there and I'm gonna fuse that up. Just the one square. That's all I need. One square. All right. So one square of that mesh, and I'm using the side of my burn my 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 uh, iron here so that I don't burn everything. And I'll bring it right up to the top because look, right this little bugger here, he's coming apart. No, no, not my watch. There we go. See, once I start seeing it, I don't touch it, I leave it alone. Good job. Okay, so that's it for that. Um, so now I'm gonna do the other side. And even, you know, it's stuck on there, you can still do it. All you gotta do is flip your, your pedal around this way. Range it, and then bring your paper over it. Make sure that, uh, you know, my pedal's gonna be in the right place. So this is where I want it to be. On the, on this, on the edge there. Yeah. It's that quick. I mean, I'm making my own trouble here. And again, the hair. Like I said, this is time consuming, folks. It's a, it's a lot of work. I think it's worth it. I really do. The end result on this is just phenomenal. Thank you, Lori, at um, 
unique in the creek. You guys are great. They got neat stuff. They make some really neat, neat stuff. But it's not what I make. So, well, you know, I don't know. Um, they use boards, okay, those craft boards. I've never used them, so I don't know. Um, don't know. I guess it's pretty hard to make a mistake with them. You know, unless you cut your mesh all messy and everything else. But I think they're kind of a good idea. You know, um, you can't make a mistake. It's pretty hard to make a mistake with those. So, I like it. So, there we go. I'm just going to let that sit. And uh, we might as well put a, a, a mesh on here and keep going. Because you guys want to see... Wrap. What have I got here? 10 inch? Yes. Is that 10? Okay. I got a room full of stuff. And I'm not going to walk over there right now. Okay, here, look what happened here. You see? Um, I have a, a strand. Okay? But it melted in. So I'm good. I'm not gonna lose that. Look, I'm just gonna cut that off. It's not even, it doesn't even, it's not there anymore. It doesn't, there, done, gone. Okay, and that's underneath the pedal, doesn't matter. On this side, on the outside, if you see like, you know, what's visible, I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna take some of that off so that, you know, it's not all ratty. But, you know, it looks nice. Be careful not to cut too much off because then you'll be fusing again. Okay. So that's my pal. I hope that uh, clarifies how to make that. It's pretty easy. I mean, we all used an iron, right? Don't have any. <laughs> well, I have to say, I was looking at my analytics last night and... My audience is all pretty much my age, so I think we're all in the same boat here. Like I said, I'm a noisy person, and I don't have the right one. Therefore, we're just going to take the wreath, and I'm going to cut around the booster thing. Where did it go? I just had a mesh here. Did I put it back in? Oh. It fell to the floor. There we go. Dee. Okay, I'm just going to trace a, you know, around so that uh, I have something to work on here. Okay, that's good. Works if I get a good one. Works better if I get a good one. Okay, I just want to make sure I have a full round here. One, two. There. If it's not exact, it doesn't have to be. Because you're not going to be, like, on the bars here. I didn't use... I used... Okay, so here's what I did. On my other one, I put my mesh in first. And it did still go through bars two and three, but not through the mesh. Uh, I just found that uh, if I had gone through the mesh, it would flatten everything out. I didn't want that, okay? So, um, so I, I just kind of went under my mesh and onto the bar. But in this case, like, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to make sure I got a good circle. That's, um, I mean, doing it after. Sorry, excuse me. I, like I said, I'm so sorry. I'm so excited today about what's going to happen in my life right now that um, I'm just a little basket case this morning. <laughs> totally. 
Oh God, I just can't wait. It's going to be a great day. <laughs> and you guys can't see anything until next week, unfortunately. But it's all going to be good. You'll see. Okay. You know what? I got a little touch here that's probably, you know, not a complete circle. But I'm just going to put it in anyway because I'm not going to be tying that. So this is not an outdoor wreath. This is an indoor wreath. It's for my girlfriend's aunt. And she, uh, she's going to be putting this inside. So I'm using white zip ties. So I'm just going to, so here's what I do is I don't tie off right away, you know, close enough. And then I kind of turn my stuff around, make sure nothing's going to catch my mesh. Okay. This uh, little chenille stem, I put that in there just to hang up my, my wreath up and down. This is not my what's going to come out. Like, I put a ribbon in, I make it look real nice. It's all about being professional. You can have the ugliest wreath in the world, but I'll tell you what. If you have, you're professional about it and um, you got a beautiful back and, you know, it looks good. It looks like you gave, you know, you cared. I was going to say something else, but I won't. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Show that you care about your art because, you know, what you see, what other people see, are two different things. It's true. We all don't see the same. Okay, so see, I'm not committed to these zip ties yet. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four of them first, and then I'll commit. I hate jumping the gun on anything, I swear. Okay, did I get any more information? Where's my little card? Um, Let's see. So Noble Touch had that, that foam um, poster board that she uses. So th this is where she would put, she would put it like under four, uh, like under bar one, and then she kind of tucks it under and then she puts her zip ties on. Jeez, that, what a nice finish. Really nice finish. I liked it, I'm gonna use it, and I have to thank Noble Touch for it. I've got this tool coming. I decided like, you know what? Uh, all this running around looking for discs and foam and this and that. When I saw, you know, you can get like a poster board, like a foam poster board. You know that wreath? I don't know if anybody's looked on my Instagram page, but I have a wreath there that I made like last month for Christmas. I'm going, Christmas already? He goes, yeah, I got to get you before you get busy. <laughs> I went, oh my God, really? <laughs> yeah. So I made a Christmas wreath in April. But um, when I got the idea from was like, I thought, oh, you know, I really like, it had a ho, ho, ho at the top. And I was like, well, I don't, I don't have anything that I could really make, you know, these letters and I'm not going to go out and buy these letters. And, you know, I like to make things myself. So, um, I just thought that ho, ho, ho was really good. And then when, uh, when Noble touched with this poster board, uh, foam poster board, I went, Hey, I can make my, my ho, ho, ho. And, and he, it's a surprise. So it doesn't matter. She hasn't seen it yet. And I can add it to it. <laughs> So I call my customer and say, hey, I've got this uh, ho, ho, ho for you, <laughs> for your wreath. <laughs> you know, it caught me at a bad time. <laughs> so, you know, you can do that with your customers. I'll tell you what, this, this like two times this, this man has come and asked me for something. And, um, and it's for, you know, his better half. And I eat that up. I mean, I just go, oh. 
you know, romance. Ah, what a nice man, like beautiful. Not many men think like that anymore. My husband does. We got a beautiful husband. 30 years we're going to be married this year. All right. So now from here, I need to make some great petals. I'm not ready. So, but I'm going to put one in anyway to show you guys where we're going to put this. So all I did was I took my petal. And yeah, here we are, you know, putting the zip tie in because we pre-made the petal. So I have to, you know, go through the mess with this. Okay. But it's okay. You know, sometimes you have to do what you got to do. Am I all fused up on this petal? Nope, I'm not using it. She's not fused yet. So we're going to use one that's fused. Okay, this one. I won't put anything on my wreath anymore until it's fused. <laughs> oh my God, I just created myself like a, a huge work. Okay, so look how pretty that is. Isn't that gorgeous? Like you could just see, like even with the folds, you know, it really looks almost real. Oh, I love this. Okay, so I'm taking my little zip tie. I'm going to go through, well, you know, look at your, your, your work. See where you think it might, you know, where it's going to go nicest as, you know, I think like right about there would probably be, you know, the place to put it. So if that's it, where's my zip tie going? I'm saying here, I'm going in between the petals. I'm going to put my zip tie right here, which is, what do you think folks? Yeah, I think so. So I'm gonna put it in and I bring it back in. I'm taking two, three holes. One, two, three. Put my tie in, zip that up. That's probably what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna do a, a row of uh, pink petals and then I'll put the gray ones in. So I just kind of pull on that. Just. I clip it right here near the petal. You know, it's unseen. You don't have to get it right at the head of the zip tie. Nothing's going to touch this. So now we got our first one in there. Okay, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So I'm going to put another one in that I have fused. I'm sure I fused a few. So I'm just giving you the ideas here of what to do, okay? Now, this one, I am going to, all I want is my petals. I don't want a huge overlap, okay? I want you, I want each individual petal to be seen. So I'm going to put it right beside it. So essentially, I'm going to like kind of like the edges. I'm just going to touch the edges. Just touch the edges together. That kind of gives me a point of where I'm going to put the zip tie. All right, I'm going to put it right here. I want to be even with the other one. I kind of want to be on the same hole, okay? So I got one, two, three, four holes there. So I got one, two, three, four holes there, and I need to bring this up one. Okay, so that's it there, okay? I'm going to put that there and just have my edge touch the other one. Okay. So I'm going to zip that in. One, two, three holes. Put that to the head. that up a little bit like I said you don't have to get to the head of that you don't want it because you know you won't want to cut that mesh you don't want to touch it it's so sensitive you just you know 
it feels very strong. It is strong. Once you fuse these two sides, I tell you what, <laughs> this pedal is like stiff. <laughs> okay, so look at that. See? So I do have a space in between. But the next pedal is going to go on top of it, right? So, you know, and then like my next row is going to be gray. I'm going to come between like this, okay? So, you know, that's going to be so pretty. I could keep going with the pink if you wanted to do all pink. Um, but, you know, so the next one, you know, I'm going to put right here. Just the edges. I still have to fuse this, look. So uh, just the edges, I'm going to put it right beside it. So I'd say I've got in between these two petals uh, on my mesh, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven holes in between so but if you can see there right okay that's what it looks like so i'm just touching these two petals together okay so um yeah so that's where we're at right now um i'd love to be able to continue uh with a few more petals but like i said i've got this big event today um and I think, you know, 41 minutes with you guys is a long time. So, at the end of the day, here's what we're going to be finishing. Next time I come, I'm going to be have the, uh, some gray petals for you guys, all ready to go. And um, we'll finish this wreath, okay? Have a wonderful day, everyone. Please subscribe to my video. And uh, so you can get subscribe, uh, so you get notified, you know, when we continue uh, finishing this wreath. Have a wonderful day, everybody. I wish everybody all the best today, and God bless.